Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 220. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 218 to 220. Hey, in this trick here, we have a column of dates and sales. And all we want to do is count up here. We have a little table, just some dates. And in this cell, I want to count all the sales for that month. Uh, and in this cell, I want to count all the sales for that month. Our data set is just a little smaller one, but you can imagine that this is a great trick when you have a huge data set. First thing is, I want to, um, these dates are here and they're the first of each month, but I want to add some custom number format. So I'll highlight those cells, Control 1 to get to Format Cells. I'll go down to Custom and I will put uh, MMM. Notice up here, notice as you put the M's, the sample. Uh, starts to appear. So we'll put January and then a space and then Y for year. So that will be, even though there's the first of the month under there, this is what it will display. And that's just perfect for our labels. Now here's the formula we'll use. We'll use sum product. And we're going to do some true falses. Now, the true falses, as we're looking through this list, is greater than or equal to the first of January and less than or equal to the last day in January. So, um, our, our first, the first part of the sum product is we'll build an array of trues and falses. So I'll put a parenthesis and click in the first cell, control shift down arrow, and then F4, which locks the cell references and brings the screen back in view. And then we're going to say less, um, greater than or equal to that cell one above. That way, when we copy the formula over, it'll get the next first of the month, the next first of the month. Close parentheses, and those are trues and falses. Remember our trick, if you want, you can simply highlight this and hit the F9 key, and you see it's true, true, true. True, 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 so they're all greater than that particular day. I'm going to control Z, don't leave it like that. And then we'll multiply it by the other. And actually, I can just scoop this out here, control C, and then paste it right there, control V. And that has to be less than or equal to, oops, well, how do we get the last day in the month? Well, in this formula, we use the end of month function. In t earlier versions, you have to go and add the analysis tool pack in to get this function. In 2007, it comes by default. In just a moment, I'll show you an alternative to this. End of month. Well, we'll take this, which is the 1st of January, comma, and in the second argument, it says how many months ahead or back do you want? We'll put zero. That way, it'll calculate the end of this current month. And uh, this is a relative cell reference, so when we copy it over, it'll work just fine. And then close parentheses on the trues and falses. And now, if you were to, to uh, highlight that and hit F9, you can see we got some trues and falses. Whenever we get a true and a true, that'll be 1. I'm going to Control Z. Finally, a close parentheses on the sum product, and the sum product will add up all the ones when we get true, true. And this is um, an array formula, but guess what? Since we're using the sum product, you don't have to hit Control Shift Enter. I can simply copy this over. And there it is. Now I'm going to come up here and scoop this uh, formula out here and just amend it slightly. If you do not have the analysis tool pack, which you should add in because there's some great functions, uh, we're going to do something slightly different. We'll do the date function. Let's say, what is the year? Oh, we'll take the year function of this, comma, uh, close parenthesis, comma, and the month of this, <coughs> close parentheses, and watch this, plus 1, right, to get to the next month, comma, and 0. If the, the day right here, if we said 1, it would be the first of next month. But if we put a 0, it knows to go backwards. So it'll, it'll take the last day uh, the, of this particular month. Close parentheses on the date, close parentheses uh, on the um, trues and falses array, and then close parentheses on the sum product. And that formula will work whether, regardless if you have end of month. And then we'll copy it over. All right, that's uh, how to build a little table accounting dates for each month. See you next trick.